What's up everyone, it's Tenrider Turtle Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. There are just over two weeks until the next Core Core Magazine and E3 and we're bound to get news when the time comes. But until then, we can only speculate on what's to come. Like Game Freak said, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are complete remakes of the original Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire games. But as we've seen with other remakes, they tend to add a lot more that weren't originally in the games. Because of this, one of the many things fans are speculating on is the champion of these remakes. Although Game Freak has never really changed the main plot of a game in its remake, fans feel that these Hoenn remakes are actually going to be an exception, especially considering they're already incorporating new Kyogre and Groudon forms into the story. The fact that remakes tend to have elements from its original follow-up, just as how Heart Gold and Soul Silver had elements from Crystal, confuses fans on certain parts of how remaking Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire would work. Pokemon Emerald follows a slightly different story than Ruby and Sapphire, ending off with two different champions. Who could be the champion of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? The typical thought is that the champion will either follow Ruby and Sapphire and remain a Steven, or will follow Emerald and will be Wallace. But many other fans feel like there will be a twist to the Pokemon League considering it is one of the final battles of the game. But other fans have come up with many interesting theories that could also work. But keep in mind that these are just theories. The first theory is that the champion of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire will be dependent on the game, with Wallace being the champion of one game and Steven being the champion of the other. There's not much to say about this theory other than the fact that it's rather unlikely considering it wouldn't make sense plot-wise putting the 8 gym leader and the super boss and a lot of other parts of the original story into account. It's still an interesting idea to consider. The second theory is a much more plausible one, based off similar events that took place in Pokemon Black and White with the champion changing throughout the story. This theory states that Steven will initially be the champion when you first go through the Pokemon League, maintaining the same team of Skarmory, Claydol, Cradilly, Armaldo, Agron, and Metagross, maybe even Mega Metagross. But after beating the game, Wallace will take over and will be the champion you face in the rematch with the national team, and with Milotic being his signature Pokemon, maybe it could even Mega Evolve. Steven will then, just like Emerald, travel deep into Meteor Falls to one day challenge you as the Super Boss, also with the national team, maintaining the same Sandbanks team. This theory is very much likely and it almost seems like it would perfectly fit with the game's original storyline and slight version differences. The final theory is a less plausible but rather unique one, the thought of introducing a new champion into the game. Just like how your rival turns out to be the champion in the original Pokemon games, Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow, it is thought that your second rival, Wally, will be the champion of the game. He could base it off his original team with an Altaria, Delcaddy, Roserade, Magnezone, Sharpedo, and Gardevoir or Gallade. And now that Gardevoir has a male counterpart, it would make sense for Wally's Ralts to evolve into either depending on the gender, with it also being the mega evolution of his team. Although it may be too much of a stretch and may conflict with the original storyline, it's an interesting idea to consider. But in the end, we may end up with a solid champion of Steven or Wallace like the original games, but it's always fun to look at other options that could also fit in. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, let me know who you think the champion would be, and if you agree with any of these theories. There's a lot more Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage to come, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.